Let's start by looking at the commands on the ribbon more closely. We've already covered the Home tab. These are the ribbon commands you will probably use most often as you work on a presentation. And we covered the Insert tab earlier as well. This is where you insert stuff. We pointed out pictures, charts, and smart art earlier. But this is also where you work with headers and footers, and where you insert audio and video. One quick note about extra tabs that appear for certain things. With the video selected, we get the Video Tools tabs. These tabs here are used to work with the video. We can adjust the brightness and color, set a style. Click Playback, and we can customize how the video plays. For example, we could choose to play it full screen or have it loop until stopped. On the Design tab, you have features that let you change the overall look of your presentation. In PowerPoint 2003, you had design templates. But in this version, you have themes. A theme applies a professional-looking set of fonts and colors to everything. Select the one you like and then choose a variant if you want. The Design tab also has commands for working with slide size and the background. The Transitions tab is great. We showed this to you earlier as well. This is where you go to add transition effects in between slides. Choose a transition But remember to look over here on the right, too. You have Effect Options, the Apply to All button, and other features to refine your transitions even further. So if the Transitions tab is for animated effects between slides, then the Animations tab is where you add animations to things on a slide, like text, shapes, charts, and so on. Select what you want to animate, and choose an animation. And again, remember to look on the right. You can choose effect options to further customize the effect. You might be asking yourself, where is the custom animation task pane? Well, open the animation pane and you'll see. This pane shows the animation timeline. And if you're looking for effect and timing options, click this arrow. The Slideshow tab is all about the big moment, actually presenting your slides to people. This is where you start the show, either from the beginning or from the current slide. If you're used to starting the show in PowerPoint 2003 using a button down here, you can still use that button, but now it's moved over here. The next tab, the Review tab, is not to be overlooked. This is where you go to check spelling, insert comments, and where you can compare your current presentation with another one. And the last but not least tab, View. This is the place for things that were on the old View menu. Slide sorter view, the ruler, grid lines and guides. Your zoom options are here too. And here's a tricky thing to remember. Outline view is here. It's no longer a tab at the top of the thumbnails. After you have worked hard on your slides, it's time to save, export, or share your presentation.